Hey guys, Zyke here, and welcome back to another episode of K Factory with me. Hello, and I changed all the roads to asphalt, and after like running around for a while, because I don't do a lot of work, um, I discovered that the asphalt's actually a ton of help, so I'm I'm gonna keep it. I also added a little road here because I've been cutting this way a lot anyway. So now I got a little triangle here, which is great. So but the asphalt's really great. I just zoom around real fast. It's nice. I go places faster, I like it. But I changed this out, and then also, like, I took this one, because originally that was spruce because of the way that I had the pathway, so I just changed it all into oak, because I think it just all worked more smoothly, and then changed this out to dark scoria to, for the bottom part, so I think it looks nice. It works. The pillars themselves might look a little crowded, but uh, we'll see how long those stay. I don't know. Constantly changing things. But I did work some more on the diesel generation, and I think, I hope, that I have a very sustainable... <laughs> um set up so as you can see i've moved this just a little bit because i now decided to install i meant to fill this hole oh i will admit that the, <laughs> that the generation makes me lag a little bit so i might have done this very wrong but that's just the way i have it <laughs> um hang on if i turn this down a little bit that might help and then smooth lighting uh, where's my particles? Let's turn my particles down. That might help. Sure. So I've put in some drawers before they go into each of the things, so the fermenter and then the squeezer, because I, it makes more sense, because usually if I'm making enough stuff, they just kind of sit there and cause a lot of lag, because there's just so much entity stuff. So if they're in here, because it dispenses them in here one at a time, that's much healthier. Healthier? Better. Um, and then I have some storage upgrades in case they fill, but I actually don't think they will now that I've started the machine. So I'm going to go downstairs and show you. As you can see, I in the fermenter, I'm gone with potatoes, and then in the squeezer, I've gone with pumpkin seeds. So I've switched out the whole melon situation. And the reason why is because with the melons, it only made like 10 millibuckets per thing, I believe. Is it 10 or 20? Let me see, because I know it did the same for each. It was 20. So... But there's stuff that does more. So pumpkin seeds actually make 40 per, and then potatoes make 80 per. Now, I know that math doesn't add up, but just hang on. <laughs> so since that's even like that, I'm actually able to create more stuff without using more energy to do so. So it's the same amount of energy to create each product as it was for the melons, but I'm getting more out of it. So it's been really helpful. I have stuff like up here going. Um, right now, the generator or the diesel generator is turned off, which is why this isn't running. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. So, as far as I'm aware right now, I know there's a lot of ethanol in here, but I had a lot of potatoes at one point, so, uh, I think that this will end up evening out. Because if I go downstairs, so like I said, the melons, or not the melons, the pumpkins make 40 per seed, and then the potatoes make 80 per potato, um, and then the cloche, the potatoes make two per time, and then the pumpkins make one pumpkin, but that turns into four seeds. So technically, I think it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but the potatoes produce much faster than the pumpkins do. So I've actually had to double up on the pumpkins. So if I go down here, I completely dismantled this room and redid it. <laughs> so it looks a lot different, <laughs> but I think it's a lot more uh, sustainable. So I went ahead and brought like the rotation speed controllers uh, and the mechanical crafters downstairs. So that way they're not upstairs and being all crowded and such. And I now have 30 cloches. All of them are perfectly powered because I did add a uh, immersive engineering windmill that's outside. I'll show it to you guys later. Um, and then I changed all of this. So I originally had this all set up and it was working perfectly, but I had the LV wires. And even though I was making more energy than I was consuming, it wasn't moving fast enough. So all of a sudden, the, like, the five in the back of each of these rows would just stop being powered. So I had to change everything out to MV, which just meant more clay making like I have electrum and all that because that's how you make the MV system or MV components it was just the clay I always have problems with clay clay is like the hardest thing to get in this pack for me <laughs> it's not hard it's just like I gotta kill zombies for blood and so on and so forth I could just mine or grind down a lot of gravel but eh, that's not what I'm doing so but I decided to stick with the one MV capacitor but because for whatever reason when I was having three capacitors it was Getting confused, and I'm not sure why, but this works, because as you guys can see, it's actually, there's, it's full, so I'm, I'm making more power than I need. It just took 12 water wheels and one windmill to do so. <laughs> but this is just potatoes in this row, so it's 10 closers are making potatoes, and then I have 20 making pumpkins. 
and all of the pumpkins will go into these the mechanical crafters and then go upstairs and then split from there uh potatoes just go straight from the machines so that's all good and then the water's coming out of there but this is all perfectly powered which is great um i'm not gonna bother with bone meal or anything like that to make this faster because i think it's doing what i need it to do so what i've noticed so as you can see this thing is like almost half full <laughs> it is 231 uh, buckets worth of diesel and when i started all of this when i started it i had 20 so I do believe it's making diesel faster than it can use it. So we're about to test this out because I'm going to turn this on. Yeah, thankfully that's quiet now. And we're going to see, we're going to come back later after this has been running for a bit and see if I have more or less diesel than I started. Now remember, I think it was like 227 is what I said or something close to that. I'm just looking at anything above 220 really and we'll see. See, like it's climbing now. So this means that we're making diesel and stuff. But also things have been sitting in the machine. So I want that on for a bit to see if I'm producing enough to keep up with the machine being turned on. Because like I said, all of this has been sitting in here and we'll just, we'll see. And like I said, I've doubled up the pumpkins. I don't exactly have the math that pumpkins take twice as long to produce. I just, re for whatever reason, I always have so much ethanol from the potatoes. So I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll see. So this is full of ethanol. And not a plant oil, so. I'm just gonna let this run, and we'll come back later. Uh, I will show you guys in here, though, because I left that door open. Uh, in here, this is how I have it set up. So I still have the windmill going, but I, like I said, I have the rotation controllers downstairs, so I don't have to have the speedy up here, and it's also much easier to click this windmill bearing. Um, and then I have it, so it comes up here, it hits the splitter here, and then this goes to the lower one, and then this one goes to the high, and I have it on both sides. And I forgot to fix the roof because this ended up being very tall. But regardless of that, <laughs> um, I'll worry about that later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. In fact, that might just look nice. I don't know. It's not like we have rain to worry about. <laughs> um, but I didn't touch anything out here other than, like I said, I did put a windmill here. Uh, which you can't have anything in front of, otherwise it grows slower. Well, I mean, you could have that. But I can't have the roof in front of it. And this is actually much bigger than I remember the windmills being. I'm sure they were always this size. Why is the stair upside down? This is what happens when I stop paying attention because I was focused on other things. Uh, but now the roof looks weird, but I'm also going to ignore it because it's the back of the building and I'm not going to be back here very much. So. <laughs> but everything seems to be going good otherwise. This is full of this. So, like This isn't using any energy because it's full. Because uh, everything's full. Like This is full of, I think this is gas, and then the, these two are filled with whatever else. Yeah, I know gasoline is the big thing, so... I'm not going to worry about it. I have a ton of bitumen, bitumen, whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, so I have all of the asphalt, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I actually think since all of my current pathways are made asphalt, I'm going to mark off this highway one. I'm, I'm just going to do it. It's going to be, I've made a highway. Because all future paths are going to be made out of asphalt anyway. And technically, unless I get to the end of this pack, there's no way to say that I'm not going to build a path at one point. So I, I did it for what I have right now. <laughs> um... And then, if, by, if the end of the episode we end up having a lot more diesel than what we started with, we'll actually have this completed with the diesel power, so it's create a setup that can constantly supply diesel generated with enough fuel. So that's the hope <laughs> uh, that that's going to work that way. But this episode, for the rest of it, um, I think what we're going to work on is we're just going to go ahead and start with the villager stuff, because I'm actually not sure how long this cocoon will take to hatch, or if it's an instantaneous thing. And hatching a villager sounds very weird, but that's what we're doing. So it says, place it on the ground and feed it emeralds until it won't accept anymore. It'll make it, it'll make it spawn villager after some time. Uh, Anvil as a workstation will make villager self blueprint for graphic electros on level five, and then the staggering begins. That's not what this is. I promise. All right, so I just need string and then a fell pumpkin, and all a fell pumpkin is is one pumpkin, gunpowder, bones, string, and rotten flesh, and I should have all of that. So I need a lot. Ooh, I don't. I need more string. Well, that's an easy fix, because if I have a lot of this... Oops, didn't mean to grab all of it. Turn my magnet... Keep my magnet off and just toss that on the ground, and we'll wait for that to change. I do need a pumpkin, so let me run back real quick and go grab a pumpkin. So I forgot that I needed one. And this would have been simpler. <laughs> so let's go grab a pumpkin real quick, and hopefully that'll be done changing into whatever it's going to change into when we get back. I really hope this setup works because this is my most organized setup so far, I think, for this sort of stuff. Okay, how do I spam it? Give me pumpkin! 
Yeah, I got the pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> Woo. I just wish I didn't sometimes jitter lag when I'm not sure if that's me or my computer. My computer's quite old now, uh, in computer years. I don't know how to explain yeah. that. I've had it since, uh, for a while. I was gonna say for a while. Alright, so I have all of this. This actually might be all that I need. Pumpkin, hang on. So, fell pumpkin. Nope, I need a rotten flesh. That would make sense. Yeah, okay. I've been making blueberry sandwiches. They're very good. Fell pumpkin, and then do this, and then cocoon. Okay, cool. So I got the cocoon. It says to feed it emeralds. And I might need to make an area for it, and I don't want this to look weird, but I'm gonna use fences. Because <laughs> I don't have any other options right now, and I don't want them to wander away and get hurt. So I think for right now, I'll just put them... Here. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So it just says to put them on the ground. Whew. Eat the emeralds! He eats a lot of emeralds. Oh, he ate enough. That's... I don't like this. <laughs> this is very strange. I don't know how long- it just says after some time it'll hatch. So, I'm gonna go put my stuff up and... I'll be back, I guess. And we'll see if he hatches. I'll need to make another one, too, at some point. Uh, so we'll need another pumpkin. Because eventually we do need them to breed. I think. It's just wiggling away over there. I do need another pumpkin. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I'm going to keep one. Or actually, I'll, I'll keep, like, eight. And we'll chuck the rest of these on the ground. And then I'm going to need another pumpkin, but we'll wait for this first. So, we get this stuff, and it says Anvil. And the work section make villagers sell blueprints for graphite electrodes in level 5. No, 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 no. I, just, I am very bad with the whole villager thing. Vanilla Minecraft, villager trading, and all that, I have not a clue. I've never really utilized villagers before, because in my head I'm like, oh, I can just make this stuff myself. Which usually I can, but I know it's much easier, especially because, like, we get us so many emeralds. So, it would just make more sense to do it the other way. Okay. So, one of these, one of these. What did I get rid of? Fell. A gunpowder and a bone. Right? Yeah. And then I need eight more of these. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, and then a pumpkin. And then another stack of emeralds. Okay, let's go get one more pumpkin. Still hasn't hatched, but we'll make you a buddy, don't- Oh, it's a baby! It hatched! Hello! Hello! Okay, so you take some time to grow up. That's okay. You're adorable. You're dressed like that because we're in a snowy mountain biome. Okay. I was about to- I was like, why is it dressed up like that? <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, we made a baby. We gotta make it a friend. Gotta make it a friend. Okay. Uh, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. One more pumpkin. One more pumpkin. Which one's about to grow? You. I got it. Cool. Then I have a crafting table over here, so I don't have to go all the way home to craft. Just gotta remove the bucket. Awesome. Okay, and I guess I'll go ahead and put both the anvil and the... Do I do anvil and left turn, or just the anvil? I've confused myself. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Do they always eat the same amount? Yes, they do. Okay, cool. Whatever... So they eat 20 emeralds. Alright. So we'll let that guy hatch. And Alright, so let me reread it. Anvil as a workstation will make villager cell blueprints for graphite electrodes on level 5. So I have to- I know- I do know leveling up villagers is you just trade with them a lot. Right? And don't make them angry. So I'm gonna put this here. Don't walk on your friend. 
They're not even hatched yet. Don't look at me like that. Whatever. Children. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna put this lectern away because I don't plan on using it right now. I know this is how you get librarians. I need to figure out stuff better. I still need to name this polar bear. And honestly, it might just the name be polar bear. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Okay, so what's our next quest? So we, we've made that, so we're needing it to get this particular engineer's blueprint. So, and then we need three graphite electrodes. So, arc furnaces need three graphite electrodes to operate. Use the blueprint to craft electrodes with full durability. You can also enchant them. Why? Oh, I can put them breaking on them. That actually is cool. I'd love to do that. Okay. Fluorescent tube. So, in order to get a full one, because I know you can always use the metal press, but we have to do it to get this one. So, it's arc furnace electrodes, and the only way to get it is with villager trades. Okay, so we have to wait for the villager to grow up, and then trade with it a lot. Is your sibling almost hatched? Oh, well, it's getting more violent with the wiggles. You have so many more minutes before you grow up. Stop stepping on your sibling! Friend, whatever, I don't care. No, not sibling. Definitely not. It's another baby! Yay! Hello! You are friends now. We both have to grow up and get a job. So I'll come back when that happens. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um. Yeah, so we gotta wait for that to happen. So what else can we do for right now? Now we could- Alright, so we're almost done with the whole factory portion of it. Other than the extra quest, of course. This is gonna get us to be able to go to the end. Um, but there's also a whole tech chapter, which, ooh, I forgot that this is pneumatic craft. <sighs> so there is a tech chapter. There's also more magic stuff. So we've been working a little bit on blood magic, because that's how we've been getting sand and such. Uh, there's also Batania. We can also start getting into storage, because now that we have access to a lot of energy, hopefully, I can have that hooked down so it can come down here so we can have all of our storage better. Hmm. Options, options, options. We also have more options for food, because we do need to start getting a lot more uh, different types of bait. And snowballs. Which we would need Batania for. No, we don't. Where would I get snowballs? Do I have to get it from a frozen core? Use for cart drops from snow golems, but I don't have snow golems. How do I get snow? Oh, is it? Oh, it is Batania, because it's from you get snow blocks from. There it is. Water next to it for your daily. Okay. So we are going to have to start getting into some more magic stuff once we get out of this tech. We also need to go back to basic automation and start doing some of these basic automations. <laughs> but these will be much easier now that we have access to uh, stuff. So, though I do think kelp farm could be mostly vanilla based. I would just need the automation for blocks and belts. You know what? I think that's what we might work on next, is the uh, kelp farm. Other than, of course, the villagers. This might take a while to get these guys to, uh, well, they're going to take a little bit to grow up, but also to get them to level 5. <laughs> the trading. <laughs> if they even give us the trades that we want, that's probably a good thing, that's why we have to. But we're reaching near the end of this episode, so let's go ahead and check on the thing. So what are we, what, what, how, how many? What were we at and how many? Will anyone answer me? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, it was like 120. Oh, and I have a lot of plant oil. Okay, so I might need to go the other way around with some more potatoes. I don't know. It's confi It's an easy fix because th this is just conveyor belts at this point. But yeah, trying to even it out. But everything's working. And I think, let's go look over here. How much do we have? 216. It's going down. It's going down. Okay, so we can't mark that part off. I have a lot of potatoes on me, though, so let me just go slap those in there. Uh, this is... The, the reason I have so many potatoes was trial and error of other things. So, yeah. <laughs> I have too many potatoes. Um, so we'll let that go so it can do that. So I think this is going to be a lot of back and forth of trying to figure out what's the best way to even this out. Because all I have to do, really, is... Uh, where's my conveyor belts? I need... This is my junk drawer. <laughs> yeah, this is literally all that I would need. Do I have scoria on me? Yeah, I do. 
Okay. Because all it's going to be doing is the two of the... Oh, it's just easier to explain. I wasn't looking at it. Hang on. All I have to do is... On this side is any time that I'm like, okay, so there needs to be more potatoes over here. I turn these into potatoes and just turn the conveyor belt so it goes over here. So, I think what we'll do... Because right now it's a lot. And like I said, I don't know the exact math. I haven't timed it. I think pumpkins take... Actually, I could time it. One, two, <laughs> three. I'm not doing that to you guys. Um... Let me see. I think I'll just add two to this side. We'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna do it like this. Take the pumpkin out. Like I said, this is super easy. This is all you have to do. Just turn it. And that's it. And then these will be connected for the potatoes. So, and if for whatever reason I ever needed to go the opposite way, I can do that, but I don't need to because this will go. So we'll see if that helps a little bit. And then if not, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> so we're at the end of this episode, so hopefully we can take that off next episode. Um, and the villagers should be grown. So that's a little disappointing that I think this is less. No, now it's 2.35. Now it's making it fast. Oh, that's because I put a lot of potatoes in there. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just going to flip this. So now we'll just collect it in here because that'll be easier. So this is 2.35. I'll see what we get later. Um, Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> well, we're at the end of this episode. Like I said, I will try to figure out that a little bit more. And then in between episodes, I think I'll try to get the material so we can possibly make an automatic kelp farm. Just so we can get that task off. Um, and then I'll also, I'm going to have the, the baby villagers grow up and I'll trade with them. Because I'm sure a lot of you uh, do understand how to do villager trading. So I don't want to, it's going to take a while. So... <laughs> Because at first they gotta grow up, and then they gotta get a job, and then I gotta hope that they like me, so. But thankfully I have enough emeralds. To keep up with that, hopefully. Should. But yeah. Uh, if you guys have any tips, tricks, or anything like that, please put it down in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!